guys, so as you can see, the studio is all together. I, we worked really hard trying to get everything set up and some of my favorite things on display here for you to see. I hope you guys really like it. So let's get right to it. Megan stars Allison Williams and Violet McGraw as aunt and niece Gemma Katie and something very tragic happens and Katie ends up being in the care of Gemma and Gemma she works for this toy tech company. She is very independent and likes her own space and she is kind of thrust into this into this world of having to take care of a child now. There was a prototype that she's working on called Megan. She thinks because Katie is so lonely and so sad and because she doesn't have time to really be there for her, that Megan would be the ultimate toy for her to keep her company and to make her feel a little bit better. The funny thing is, I, when I saw Allison Williams was in this movie, I just thought, what is she gonna do in this? Because in Get Out and in the Netflix film, The Perfection, she always is up to something or she's always double crossing somebody. So I was kind of wondering like, how is she gonna be in this? So some of the things I really liked about this movie, it's not a unique concept. We know that there have been killer doll TV shows, movies ever since, I believe the Twilight Zone with Talking Tina. And we have probably the most infamous one, Child's Play. So this is not a new concept, but I think what this movie does, it takes an old trope and it does something a little bit different. Yes, it's dealing with high tech and new technology and then and how the younger generation uses technology for everything. It takes all of that, but it has a great message. This is definitely a movie with a purpose. And I think that's what makes this stand out from a lot of the other killer dog movies. It's not just about Megan killing people or being this evil doll. It really deals with grief and hurt and loneliness and also parenting. Gemma does not know how to be a parent and so she just thrusts the responsibility of making sure Katie is okay and is coping with this tragedy that she just gives it to Megan and expects this doll to just fill that void of a parent and it also deals with attachment. Katie becomes super attached to Megan because Megan seems to be the only one who understands her and what she's going through and it's really there for her and there's actually a really great tender moment that had people in the movie and in the theater kind of teary-eyed watching this scene when Katie really needs to be comforted. Gemma is just not there for her. And I love the fact that it actually dealt with that. It took this trope and went a step further. It's not hollow, it's not just a slasher film. There actually really isn't a lot of gore in this movie because that was not the focus. Like I said, it's not a slasher film. It has a deeper message that is trying to convey and I think the gore definitely would have gotten in the way. This is a very smart film and this is a movie I would definitely watch again. Some of the things I dislike, it wasn't too much. Um, this definitely took some license from the reboot of the Child Play series that starred Mark Hamill where this isn't anything like supernatural, it's just technology malfunction and it learned the right things the wrong way and so it thinks it's protecting the child by killing other people. So it did kind of use that storyline somewhat but again this is a completely different film. And one other thing, this is like kind of nitpicky but Megan dances a lot in this movie which is fine but it just seems out of place when she's dancing right before she kills someone. They never really explained why she would dance before doing this. I think if they showed her and Katie dancing a little bit more, like it was a part of her programming type of thing, like if she always danced the night when she was happy or something like that, I could see why she would be dancing in this. But no, there's like one montage of them playing and Katie teaches Megan a dance and then that's it. But for her to be dancing right before she kills someone, it was a little out of place. But I feel like this movie doesn't fall into that January curse of bad movies. This is a very well thought out movie and I think you guys should really see it. I highly enjoyed it. I more so enjoyed the deeper moments even when Katie and Megan are just talking. It's like I said it's a very smart film. Guys I hope you enjoyed this video. I have some more movies coming out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.